The card for tonight, we have Mr. Hughes in action, the Steiners, Razor Ramon, Hacksaw Duggan, and our opener, Marty Jannetty versus Bam Bam Bigelow for the Intercontinental title with Luna Vachon and Sherry at ringside. And the women start fighting even before the bell, actually, and then men start fighting right at the bell. So <laughs> Vince is outright saying Marty Jannetty is a huge underdog. I know we saw the one, two, three kid beat Razor Ramon a few weeks ago, but Lightning may not strike, strike may not strike twice here. And I get the idea; he's small, and Bam Bam is big, and that's the story they're telling. But can you make your champion look like any more of a geek and <laughs> say he has no chance against Bam Bam Bigelow? Well, he's big, dude. He is very big. Mm-hmm. Fuck. You know what's gonna happen to Hogan when he faces that Yoko Zuma? Uh, big man, he's win. in big trouble. Yes, he is. So this match is awesome. Actually, this was a really good match. Hell of a match. And yeah. super fast pace and the near 400-pound Bam Bam Bigelow catch up with Marty Jannetty. Oh. You'd think it was uh, hard to do like a big man, little man match. Apparently, it's not. It's not when you're all good. You got a good little man and a good big man. Yeah. And they put a match together. It was a little man versus a big man. They got time. Yeah. It was on a show, which is normally just a bunch of shit. Yeah, this was, uh, this was a really good match. You know how we did a match and I was Vader and you were Shawn Michaels and we copied the match. I remember that was the idea. Yeah, we should have copied this one until the finish. Well, no, we, sh- we no, it doesn't matter, Craig. Yes. There's no match we could have copied that would have been as good as these cuz we sucked. Well, there's that. But we could have tried. And you know what? Honestly, especially after me and Vinny's hair match. Uh-huh. Our matches as as Vader and Shawn Michaels weren't that bad. No, they were not. They were fine. Yeah, they were fine. When you bring up Shawn Michaels, it's funny. In 2022, if someone says, refers to another wrestler as, hey, he's the he's the Marty Jannetty of that group, it's meant as an insult. Uh, Dude, Marty Jannetty was awesome. Yes, he well, did. he was awesome, but you know what? He was the Marty Jannetty of the group, Vinny. It's not his fault that his tag team partner was Shawn Michaels. <laughs> well, yes, but I mean, that's a fact. He was the Marty Jannetty of this group. Most teams he have, was good. Most teams have no Marty Jannetty. In fact, he was quite the great. The Rockers had one and then one even better. At one point was, early, he was probably better than Shawn Michaels. I'm sure that's he true. was the Andrew Ridgely of the group. <laughs> he was the goddamn Marty Jannetty of the group, and that's all right. Okay. You don't have to look at it as a, as a horribly negative thing. So they're having this awesome match, and uh, Bam Bam is running the ropes, and Sherry trips him. So Bam Bam goes after her. Marty knocks him out of the ring. He does a plancha from the top rope to the floor, and <laughs> I, I, I don't even know how to describe this, but he he dives at Bam Bam Bigelow with his tiny little body, and Bam Bam is there all 400 pounds, and I think Bam Bam's idea was that he would stand there and not give ground, and Marty would fall to the floor. Right. Marty hit him really, really <laughs> hard, and like shoot and knocked him over on the ground. But Bam Bam throws him, the, throws him into the post. And then Bam Bam throws him into the ring. He's just thrown Marty Jannetty into the ring with the icy title on the line. He grabs the ropes to climb in, but Sherry says, Hey you! Or whatever she said. And so Bam Bam Bigelow stops to argue with Sherry and gets counted out. You know what's funny is I was watching this match and they, there's, there's uh, Marty's a champion. Although, spoiler alert... Not for long. The next episode started, and we were alerted he was no longer the champion. (laughs) But anyway, he was the champion here, and uh, Bam Bam Bigelow, they were pushing hard for that King of the Ring. Mm -hmm. So I knew we were going to get a shit finish, and uh, they chose Count Out, (laughs) which, to be fair, I mean, you know, back in, in 1992, 1993, to these fans, it was still about who gets their hand raised. And so at this point, it wasn't even like a shitty fuck finish. I mean, if you were like a hardcore fan, you know, you thought it sucked. But, you know, these fans, they heard that Marty Jannetty won via count out. And they were just fucking happy as could be. Bam Bam couldn't make it back to the ring by the count of 10. He was the oh, loser. He could have. He was too dumb to. Yeah, he was a loser. So they were happy. And yeah. very much unlike today where they did the same count out finish on Raw. And it was a fucking atrocity. It was horrible. So, yeah. I have no recollection of... Sherry being with Marty Jannetty. I suspect this is the last time. Yeah. Well, no, was... they, they did that whole angle. Remember where where uh, they were in the ring and then Marty accidentally hit Sherry with the mirror? Remember that? Yeah. And then they were together for a little bit, briefly, and then a little bit here. 
got to remember, like, Marty, there, there's a reason he was a Marty Jannetty of the Rockers. There is. He got put through the fucking barber shop window. Mm -hmm. They did a, a brief whatever, and then he vanished. And this whole storyline here was him returning in street clothes. Yeah. He'd been yeah. gone. Yeah. So, yes. Just got to pick up where they left off, I guess. Okay. Now, there was an incident last week where I lost my mind and uh, attempted some gory self-mutilation. Trini, stop that! No! I don't believe my own eyes anymore. What, what, I, what, I, what I think I see, they're telling me I didn't see. All right? <laughs> but that's what happened. Okay, so seven days ago, seven days ago, he shaved his own head. He goes back here. I swear to God, his hair's back again. <laughs> well, like nothing happened. I'm trying to hang on. I'm trying desperately to grip on reality. And every time I, I'm, every time I think I'm there, every time I'm like, safe and stable, Duke Hudson's hair changes again. His motivation changes again. Something about Dante Chen. If you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.